Hey guys, so I just wanted to give a little tip here. So a lot of people are running at uh, about 75 uh, field of view. But if you push backspace in the top right hand corner, you'll see some green uh, letters come up. The first number is uh, your frames per second. I'm currently running at 142 frames per second. And then the second number is your field of view. And uh, it's currently at 76, which is what, or 75 is what the actual game presets you at. But this is a very limiting field of view. What you need to do is, you need to set up um, your pilot head zoom. So go to settings, go to key mapping, it would be in pilot head control. And then you want your pilot head zoom in to be whatever number you want, or E binding you want, and then I put mine as a plus sign on the numpad. And your pilot head zoom out, which is very important. Uh, I put mine as a minus sign on the numpad because that's how I look around with the numpad. So you do that. And uh, so this is what people would normally be flying out, which is terrible, awful. You want to push that zoom out button. Boom. Now I'm running. The 105 field of view, I can see a whole bunch better. And then you also want to um, use F9 to cycle through to centered quick view. When you hit centered quick view, you can look and hit the numpad number seven, and then it redirects you. Numpad seven, it comes back to the gun site. This is very good for uh, people who don't have track IR or VR. You also want to set up uh, the key binding for um, your pilot head control when you go down here. You want to change your pilot head snap position modifier upper. You want to change it from 0 to 5. And you want to get rid of your pilot uh, head snap position center. Just get rid of that one. You want your pilot head snap position lower to be 0. When you do that, you can push five, it will tell you, and it will look directly up for you, and then you can add it to number seven, and you can look to the left, or if you push nine to the right, or you can push six, and you can look to the side and up, or three, or even one to look up, up and behind you. You can bind these keypad values to look in multi-directions. Another thing, that is important to look at is if your your aircraft is feeling spongy, you want to go to your plane controls. You can see plane control pitch, plane control roll, plane control yaw. You're going to want to look over to the right. You see input responses. This shows you your input response on your joystick. This graph shows you how that input is correlated to your input. You want your sensitivity to be much higher than 0%. I prefer 50% instead of at 0%. This is a linear curve, as you can see here. I put mine at 50% because it's a good balance between having uh, too much of a logarithmic uh, graph. I prefer to have it at 50%. It makes the aircraft feel very smooth. I also have a dead center at about 12%. As you can see, it just dead sticks, uh, the joystick input. I prefer 12%, it just gives me a little bit of wiggle room that my aircraft isn't bouncing back and forth. So that's something I found uh, extremely useful there. And that's kind of all I really wanted to talk about. So make sure you do that 50% sensitivity for each of these values and 12% uh, for your dead center.